morning. <laughs> it's still morning. Um, I'm gonna shut this door. My husband's playing his stereo in there, but <sighs> how many of you guys saw who came back to YouTube? You're watching all of her old videos that she used to, she's been re-uploading all of her old videos to her vlog channel. I'll, I personally always really liked Meg's channel, but I know some people had their own things with her, but you know, at the end of the day, the way that I see it is we don't really know what someone's life is. We only see what they put out and I don't know. I just would rather not judge people. I'd rather just, uh, I, I did really enjoy the videos that she did put out when she did. They always got me motivated to clean and stuff. So yeah, today, um, there's a couple other videos that I want to watch. Um, I love Marie's videos, Kimmy's videos, um, uh, my girl Tara, uh, April here. Um, you, you guys probably all know them, but I wanted to binge watch some of their videos this morning. And, um, yeah, <laughs> that's what we're doing today. It's a beautiful day. I got the animals in here with me. Yellow was just playing with his toy. He was going wild for it, weren't ya? He's going nuts. Need some new catnip on it, don't ya? And Otis had his toy. What'd you do with your toy, Pops? There he goes. He's like, I wanna go outside. Um, I got a little stand yesterday for my plant over there in the corner. For free, guys, I didn't pay anything for that. Uh, my parents had some stuff stored away that my dad, I think, worked on a house or something, and this, he was able to get a lot of stuff for nothing. And I like the little antique stand. It goes with the rest of our antiques that we have in the house, but it's a little too short to be a nice stand because that's what I was gonna use it for, but it's a little, just a little too short. Uh, my husband was going to take me down to a little thrift store today before we uh, have to go to a meeting at 3 o'clock at the school today, which I'm dreading, but I'm honestly just ready to get it over with. Um, but I'm ready to get all that stuff taken care of, guys. I haven't really felt the best the last past two days, mentally-wise, um, and that's because a lot of stuff going on with Cole's school that... It's been stressing me out, like, really bad. And then also, it's been stressing my husband. And I told my husband last night that I just feel like me and him both have, hasn't really been, like, we haven't been the same since all this stuff was going down. And um, I will go ahead and tell you guys that we are, uh, I don't want to share, like, it's really hard for me, guys, because I want to. I miss vulnerable videos that I used to make a long time ago, but then I realized like the way that the world is and now I realize that it might not be right to, you know, about like kids being on the internet, especially kids. And I try not to, like, I don't want to overshare about Cole's anything in his life. He He's still like a very young child, so I don't want to like overshare anything but you guys that have been here um you know my loyal followers and that have genuinely cared about us and Cole and you know I appreciate you guys very much for that and there's there's stuff that go that goes on in your child's life that I feel like anytime I hear another parent talk about something it's relatable you know so I don't so I really miss being able to share <laughs> things that I feel like could help somebody else. But I will just, um, I think it might be okay for me to just say one thing and then I'm not going to talk any more about it because, but I know there's a lot of other moms out there that might be struggling with their kids as far as trying to figure out, um, maybe something's going on with them that you, you, you just, you're not really sure about. So you want to reach out to a professional for some help and we're in the process of doing that currently, um, meaning uh, he's going to be getting uh, tested by a psychologist and possibly also a pediatrician MD. 
um, for any kind of possible signs of autism or ADHD, ADD, whatever. Just there's so many different things, guys. And I truly believe, like, uh, Cole just has a very mild, very mild case um, of whatever he has. Uh, he's having issues focusing at school and he can't complete his work um, like the other children and it's just been really stressful but there's a lot more to it than just that but I'm not gonna I can't talk about that stuff but <laughs> um, I just I felt like dang you know like I owe you guys like I don't I don't have to share anything but I feel like it would help somebody else know that they're not alone in making decisions like it's so stressful as a parent trying to figure out what's right and then I am worried that if we do get a diagnosis of some sort I'm always in the fear of the back of my mind whatever that means whether that means you know your child has to receive help or also medication especially medication scares the living daylights out of me um that one scares me really bad because I am not I get I have health anxiety and like taking any kind of medicine always freaks me out and I don't like side effects. I don't like stuff like that. However, I'm a strong believer that if you need medication, you should take it, you know? So it's, but it just scares me because Cole is going to be six, you know, but there has been some things over the years that kind of make sense to me now looking back at them because I was a first time mom. I didn't really think anything of it. And that is the honest truth because I never had any kids before. I thought everything Cole was dealing with was normal. And um, now looking back at a lot of it, I'm starting, I did some research last night, which is not good to like, my husband was like, you need to quit watching that stuff, you know, cause I can't make diagnosis as a parent. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a psychologist, you know? So I don't have a degree in that, but I know sometimes as a parent, you do pick up on things and you know it doesn't mean that you you don't know what's best for your child but um just some things kind of make sense to me that i think he might have a little mild form of something you know um that would make a lot of sense because <laughs> me and my husband have always always wondered if some of the stuff that he does is like what a normal child does which what is normal guys none of us are normal okay i don't even like to say that because none of us are normal there's everybody has something you know and i <laughs> that's just the way it is nobody is normal <laughs> so i don't even like to say that word but you guys know what i'm saying with the other children his age like sometimes you know he's not exactly like those kids his age i should just say he's a and there's nothing wrong with that at all I want to say that too. All right, I'm going to quit rambling about all of that, but I wanted to be open and honest because it's been weighing on me a lot. And I just wanted to say thank you guys for all the prayers that you guys have given and thoughts and stuff about us during this stressful time. It's been very hard. And um, just also to, to wondering if you're making the right decision, you know, for your child that part is hard um you just want to do the best for them but it's like sometimes you just wonder like if I because I'm the adult right so if like if I make the wrong decision for the child you know it's almost like I can't I can't live with like misdiagnosing him or the thought of thinking that he I and mean, I know that stuff happens you know all the time but it's just the thought of it scares me really bad and just it just upsets me so but I just I'm gonna pray that we get the right diagnosis and we can move forward with um you know whatever that means like us you know um nothing is gonna change obviously you know <sighs> but it's just I'm ready for all the stuff to be kind of put to bed and kind of to know more answers maybe is what I'm trying to say like just to know a little bit more you know because it maybe we'll be able to better help Cole as well and also even with learning and stuff he's been just kind of having a hard time with stuff that they're doing at school and it's been challenging so anyways uh we are uh maybe gonna ride somewhere here in a little bit when my husband gets out of the shower 
and just kind of waste a little bit of time to maybe going outside the house would be good for me to do um even though I kind of told my husband I just wanted to stay here just because um I know we have to be at the school at three and it's now like 10 o'clock and I just I don't know I really love just being a homebody sometimes and staying home A little small haul from food line that i'd share it's just a snack haul <laughs> but it's random we got bananas cole's been asking for some mozzarella sticks so we got him some mozzarella sticks um uh, my husband saw these they were on sale and he had to have some so we got some cakes we got the tasty cakes it's buttercream cupcake and that was my water i was drinking some ridges were on sale there cheddar and sour cream which is my favorite flavor um we got my favorite cookie. Cole really likes them too. My husband's not big on Oreos, but I've always loved Oreos. So we got some more of those to keep. You guys can tell how I'm doing with my diet, by the way. <laughs> it's going really well. Um, we got some Dean's French onion. This is for my husband. He likes to have chip and dip. That's his favorite thing. Um, I bought this to try because Cole really likes garlic toast all the time. So I thought, well, let's give this a try. This is the garlic and herb butter spread. It looked really good. It sounded good. They have all kind of different flavors, but this this stuff's normally good. So we got some. This is my favorite snack right here. Peanut butter filled pretzels. We got my vanilla creamer and then some more coffee. And then this was the other because I think it was like bad to get one. And we we both tried one of these and these are really good. And then I got Cole two little Lunchables to keep in the refrigerator for him to have sometime, but that's it. It was really, I think it was only like $40, but yeah. So now that we're back home, we didn't really do anything else. Uh, we went out to eat, but the place we wanted to go was closed because there's new owners. So we went next door and I got like fish tacos, but it wasn't like what I was expecting to get um i couldn't eat it all but i'll show you guys i mean it was good but it was, i'm really full one it's really spicy it's got some kind of like dressing in there that's really hot so i brought that home but it, it tastes good so i'm gonna put this stuff away and go relax for a little while it's the curtains that i picked out guys and tomorrow if we're not going to we're not going to Virginia. We're gonna spray paint the curtain rods black and we'll hang the curtains tomorrow. So I wanted to show you guys what they look like. There's like a little up close. I think they're gonna look really nice with the green wall. In the beach. Thank you. I got new curtains for my room today. You can hit put give me my sweater. What are you doing? You tying me up? Whoops, I'm sorry. Oh, beach. Oh, Nicole, let me, let me fold these up here. You want to get in the bathtub? No. That's how I'm getting the tub. No. Yep. Good morning, guys. We are going to try to finish this video today, but I'm getting ready to change Cole's bed, and I wanted to show you guys these vintage sheets. <laughs> because they are so freaking cute and they're really old like um someone my mom worked for had saved them from her when her kids were like little so she had kept them I washed them really good and they're so cute they're old time like the even the material doesn't feel like sheets do now like these feel like they were made a lot nicer but anyways, so yeah, I got two pillowcases, the fitted sheet, 
and Cole loved these. He's going to be so happy when he comes home because I told him I had to wash them first before we could put them on his bed. So he's going to be so happy. Um, He got a new little tent thing too from that same woman. We, it was in a box. It has like these little, these things glow in the dark and then you stick it together and he loves he has a tent again and then you just take a flat sheet and throw over it so it doesn't really look the best but it doesn't matter because he enjoys playing in it he's already put spider-man in there his squishmallow he's done but enjoying playing in there so um all right we're gonna change cole's bed i cleaned my room this morning my bathroom and now we're going to clean Cole's room. It is Wednesday. So normally I wait and clean in here on Thursdays. But tomorrow me and my husband are going to get our hardwood floor for the master bedroom. So part two to that makeover will probably be out either next week or the week after. I'm not really sure. But hopefully we can get started with putting it down next week. And I told my husband, um, I showed you guys those curtains last night. I decided that we're not going to, we'll wait and put those up after the bedroom is done all the way because of all the dust that's going to be made from ripping the carpet up. There's really no point to hang nice clean curtains and then make all that dust mess in there because I was really wanting to do that today because I cannot wait to just like get my curtains hung and get the bedroom just finished. But <laughs> we're going to hold off on that. Um, I do need to take out the curtain rods and spray paint them. We could do that and at least get like my husband said we could go ahead and put the rods up maybe later um and i kind of wanted to film that on the other channel because i was going to make that into part two of the bedroom makeover which will probably be the which will be the last video for the master bedroom um the next area that we're going to be moving into is the living room we're going to finish painting in there but I don't know when, just probably in the next couple of weeks, but just not like this week, you know? Um, we did have our little meeting last evening. My stomach was like in knots for that, you guys. But we did have a pretty good turnout with that, thankfully. So I think me and my husband feel a lot better about things now as far as all that stuff goes at the school. But, um... Yeah, there's still a lot of unanswered things, but uh, we got to just wait for that. Like um, some testing and stuff that has to be done on Cole to, uh, you know, see what his results are. So I will definitely keep you guys updated on that. But like I said, I'm not going to, I'm just going to try really hard not to say too much, um, you know, personal things about Cole. But I do still want to kind of be open because somebody else might be having the same issue and I'd rather be helpful without being too personal just try to watch what I share is all but I still want to be open because I want to be relatable <laughs> it's hard being on the internet and <laughs> just um yeah anyways Cole there is ladybugs guys this whole freaking room and not even just Cole's room but the whole house from it getting warm outside all the ladybugs are coming out we have ladybug issue and Cole saw one last night and kind of scared him until I told him that it was okay, we'll we'll take the ladybug and we put her outside last evening. Um, he saw me carry her out in my hand and I said, look, ladybugs will not hurt you. They're, they will not hurt you. So he was fine after that. So I just had to show him that they, no issues with ladybugs. We got rid of that, but there is one crawling up his wall right now. So uh, we just have a ladybug issue. I don't know. They come out from the insulation in the house when it warms up and they're just everywhere.
outside on the chairs um thankfully because I could not get into the attic because of all those cushions up there and it's a little better up there now but I'm going through this bag of clothes that my aunt had gotten off a, a woman that had um, a seven or eight year old because some of these clothes are still too big for Cole but some of them he can wear and <laughs> for I'm gonna save the rest of them for when he gets a little older they're like size eight um so but some of them are size seven and i think cole can wear these t-shirts there are some really cute shirts a lot of under armor which is expensive and this woman just gave these clothes away so very grateful for that cole doesn't need any t-shirts this summer he might need some tanks he needs uh shorts and some new jeans other than that i think cole is good <laughs> My mom gave me some garlic type or like some kind of seasoned bread that we can just toast up as our garlic bread and use that garlic and herb spread that I bought yesterday. That stuff's really good by the way. I tried it yesterday. It's really good. Um, so yeah, we're just taking it easy guys. I don't really know what else I'm going to film. Hope this video wasn't like a letdown, but I just... You know, it's been a tough week. I'm not going to lie. And I feel like I haven't got a new vlog up for like a few days because stuff going on that I've been stressed about. But I hope you guys understand. Um, but um, it is what it is. <laughs> this is what we're doing. We're just having a casual day. And I'm going to get this stuff in the wash machine that I want to wash up. And the boy, I'm going to show you guys Cole's closet really quick because... I'll show you what I mean about he doesn't need any shirts. Also, I uploaded uh, the Easter clean and decorate with me spring decorations over on the Real Clean Bee. If you have not seen that, it is up now. It's I posted it today. Um, but I'm hoping to get this vlog up for y'all tomorrow. I guess we'll see. But look at this kid's closet. I wanted to show it to you guys because look at all them shirts. Um, on camera, it doesn't look like a lot, but look at all these shirts there is and actually cole's actually turning six so some of these shirts are size five <laughs> so i just realized that um let's go through these shirts really quick while i got you guys on here um because He's going to turn six in about a month and he's always been on time with his clothes like for his age except sometimes pants and shorts are kind of an issue because his waist is so small but for shirts and like the way that he's built and how long his arms are normally he's right on cue for like his age on shirts he's always been like what his age is so I'm tempted to go ahead and declutter all the five shirts because he's going to be six.
I got rid of so much crap. So he might need a couple new t-shirts. Because I didn't realize. I mean, he still got some. But I didn't realize a lot of that stuff was size 5. So that was my bad. Here's the pile that I just got rid of. It's all fives. So we got rid of another small pile and then this stuff here is keepsakes that I'm going to keep and those we Cole picked out a pair of boxers that um, are way too big. Hang on to those for him but we're going to have to get him some new. Um, but I'm going to get this stuff cleaned up now and just go chill for a minute. Mm -hmm. 